Hello managers and thank you for joining me for another edition of FIFA Rosters. I'm Thomas Rye and I've got a lot to tell you about. First of all, we're going to jump right in. I wanted to show you what it's like to create a new career using FIFA Rosters. Uh, I've made some big improvements on the site that make it easier and so we'll just start from the beginning choosing a team it was difficult because you know i've played a lot of career mode i've used a lot of different teams i love jumping down there in the fourth english league the football league two uh, and working my way up through promotions because because what's more exciting than getting promoted i mean that's that's probably one of the best parts of career mode in my opinion but uh you know i've done that and considering there's only a month until fifa 16 comes out i'm not going to be able to make it through multiple promotions multiple seasons because i hate simming uh and so uh, i want to try and get every game in there and really see what we can do with that so I, I thought about Belgium, but there's only one league. I, I do want the chance to at least have that one promotion ending on that high note of getting promoted. Mm, nothing better. How about some Ligue 2? Since I do not follow the French league closely, um, what better way to choose than based on their badge? Yeah. It's going to be angers. So jumping in the global transfer network here, my man, Jonathan Gomes, he's got 15 new guys for me. And they're actually not bad looking. Uh, some of these I'm going to start some scouting on. I love to get a lot of work done right on that first day that the transfer window opens because you don't want anybody stealing uh, any of these young, talented guys out from under you or just, you know, someone that's out there for a steal. You got to jump on top of that, know what you're getting. I've, I've spent plenty of time and money and wasted a lot of money by uh, not jumping on a deal and then later uh, not having the time to scout a guy and so I just buy him thinking okay it'll all work out and he's terrible he's just he's the worst you know just slow or, or, or just just trash so uh, you definitely want to get in those that scouting early uh, awesome thing about FIFA 16 they say that your scattering reports are going to last for the entire season or maybe it's a whole 12 months on the game instead of expiring after three months like everybody just forgets how good this player that was scouted is which is ridiculous so that's going to be a pretty sweet improvement um, my other probably my other favorite thing that i've heard about fifa 16 is that in the week preceding a game day you can play skill games that improve your youth players or even you know some of your veterans but obviously you're going to get more improvements um more production out of using your youth players in these skill games which i love because i love the skill games they're so much fun to play these little mini games and now it's going to be something on the line so you can if you're good at skill games if you can like really get those high scores on the mini games and beat all your friends now you can use that to make like super youth because you're just like killing it and training every week and so these guys are going to come out on the field and just be monsters okay now here's where things get pretty exciting i'm gonna go ahead and log into my account i have taken the time to put in my entire team from angers seo or angersco i'm just gonna call it angers because that sounds powerful it sounds like some mean soccer players out there on the field ready to take down their opponents because they're so angry so here we are on the team roster as you can see there are a lot of changes that have been made to this screen We've got your overall ratings right here in this corner, so you can kind of get just a, a nice snapshot of where your team is at. It's going to take your top 18 players, run some calculations, and show you these numbers so you can just kind of have that feel of where your team is really at in quality. Um, also, we've got the, the roster numbers here, so you've got your total players, uh, and then you can see how your team breaks down. So, obviously... You know, I've only got four attacking players, which is strikers and wingers. Uh, that might be a little bit short if I'm going to go with a 4-3-3. Um, even a 4-2-2, you know, I might I might look at picking up somebody extra. And I want to show you guys something. This is something I'm going to be adding to the navigation very soon. You just need to go to fiferosters.com slash chart dash age dash OVR. What you'll see here is that... Uh, this is a graph it's it's called a scatter graph or scatter chart um, and we have uh, overall rating from the lowest down here 
and highest up here and then you have age youngest to the left oldest to the right so basically any guys that are going to be up in this corner are highly rated and young so nagando he's a 20 year old 68 rated cam um for this team that's pretty decent and honestly uh, i'm probably gonna be looking to hang on to him and develop his talent um because he he might uh, really do well for me in the future now if you ever have guys that are down in this corner that means they're old and they suck so give them the boot for sure i like the way that this chart really gives me a feel especially when i'm starting this new career gives me a feel for where my guys are at to be honest with you i'm gonna be okay maybe not this goalkeeper but i'm gonna be okay looking to move out most of the guys over here on the right because um, i just don't like keeping around old guys because all they do is decrease in ratings and uh bring down my team one other thing that um, you can take a look at if if you like digging into these stats is this is the full-on stats table obviously this is a whole heck of a lot of data but it does allow you if you want to see how your team uh, stacks up you want to see the fastest guys on your team you can sort by sprint speed right there and this is going to give you your whole team sorted by sprint speed it's a lot of data to take in so unless you're a big fan of big big tables of of information you might not uh like that and this one similar sort of thing but this is going to give you how each player stacks up in different positions so um let's say you're trying to fill a center attacking mid position you can sort and see that um nagando yeah he's holding it down with the 68 there but we've got a left mid that would actually be a 67 if he played cam um same with this right mid he's a 66 at, at cam um, and again, I know these numbers are super low, but we just, you know, picked a team out of a hat and they are angry. They're so angry. So they're going to get better. So let's look at the dashboard. Dashboard is one place that I have cleaned up just a little bit, made the data a little bit easier to read. You can see what all these mean just by bouncing over the little info icons. Just another way to kind of give you these snapshots of understanding your team that much better oh one more thing positional rankings so this is similar to the positional ratings table um, this just gives us a, in a little bit cleaner format we got these little panels where we can see where guys stack up it's almost like a squad ranking except it, it organizes them by position it's going to be tough but um, you know what we're going to keep on trucking with anchors and uh, hope that we can really make something out of them um, subscribe if you want to know when the next video is coming out and uh like this video if you like where we're headed i'm going to keep on trucking with these career mode videos hopefully get you guys some more cool stuff to look at um, and the next video um, we're going to take a look at what this team looks like on the field as well as uh, how those scouts are coming along so until next time, lead them to the cup, boss. I'm Thomas Rye. This is FIFA Rosters. We'll see you next time.